Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So I'm making another video to um, talk about a couple of things. First of all, some people have been making some requests for me to make a video about how I came to Islam. So I will go through that. And I also have a couple messages. So I guess, oh, where should I start? Well, I was raised a Christian, and my dad is actually a minister. And we attended church every Sunday when I was young. And I always had like a strong sense of moral values and all that sort of stuff. And I always had such a passion and love for God. And I've always loved the Prophet Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. But I just, there was a lot of questions and a lot of things that didn't, make sense to me like the Trinity for example just never made sense to me and kind of not seeing God as one even though I know in Christianity they say he is one but it just it didn't make sense to me and a lot of inconsistencies in the Bible and no offense to any Christian out there at all and um, yeah and I just I looked at people in society and the way young people my age are acting, people that claimed to love God and would preach about it all the time but then go out and do these things that were completely against their religion, not to say that people of all religions do that, I'm sure, and I've seen that as well in all different religions, Hindus, Jewish people, Muslims, everybody, but I think I had a couple good friends and they seem to really be grounded and have a lot of a good sense of morals and just be so peaceful and blessed and happy. And they were Muslim and they seem to have this closeness to God that I really admired and he was so important to them. And this got me interested. Now, in the beginning we used to debate a lot actually. I would defend my views and my friend would defend theirs. And I was so stubborn and I would listen, but I didn't really listen. I was more just thinking about what I was going to say next, instead of really thinking about what they were telling me. And I went over to one of my one Muslim friend's houses just to study, and they were showing me, they were just talking to me about Eid, and talking to me about, um, about being Muslim and telling me all these things and I got really interested and I was kind of starting to grow an interest for Islam. It just, it, I don't know what it was, just something made me, you know, want to learn more. And it was weird because I was completely against it before and I just had this complete turnaround, this complete change. And the more I started to learn, the more sense it started to make. I actually went and visited another convert sister and she told me a lot that was like, wow, it just it explained all the things that didn't make sense to me in Christianity. And Islam had no mistake, no mistakes. It was It's perfect in my eyes, and I'm sure in a lot of people's. And it just brought me such peace, like peace of my mind. And it just, making a sacrifice for Allah and really taking time out of my day to pray and things like that just really felt like I was worshipping in the right way. I wasn't just living my life how I wanted to and I kind of had God on the side. God was first, always first. And this made me feel a lot closer and it just felt really right. And something I didn't see a lot, I didn't see a lot as, and didn't feel a lot as a Christian. And I went and visited the mosques um, a couple times and that is amazing. I tell any person out there who is interested in Islam, just go to the mosque and listen to a good lecture. And your eyes will be opened because there are some really good good lectures out there that I heard at the mosque that were just incredible and really, really touched my heart and soul. And this just kind of pulled me even more towards it. And it was a very, very slow process. I didn't tell my friends. I only, I only told one of my friends, my close friend that I was interested and I didn't tell my family because I was scared of people judging me and I was scared because my dad is a minister and not because I thought he would be mad because my father is an amazing great person and I know he would never 
force me to do anything. But I thought he would be sad, and I didn't want to break his heart. And so I started learning the prayers, and I slowly I started to pray, and this brought me such joy and peace. And my life seemed to get a lot better, and I was just a lot more happy. It just it filled this hole inside of me that I think a lot of people have. People like people have this hole inside of them naturally, and we try to fill it with all these things. We try to fill it with the drugs and adult and premarital sex and alcohol, buy like money, buying all this stuff, material things, and maybe that'll fill it for a day, a month, years, but it won't truly fill it and you won't be happy. And the only thing that can is God and I finally, I finally felt like it, I was whole, like it was filled. And that was what was really, really amazing. And everybody in the Muslim community was absolutely incredible and such nice people and welcomed me with open arms. And I guess my next step was to tell my family. And so I told my friend, I had mentioned it to my dad slowly, and my dad was kind of, he was sad, but more than sad, he would ask me a lot of questions. Like, oh, so you don't believe Jesus died on the cross, you don't believe Jesus is God, and these questions hurt me, because he made me feel like I was forsaking, like I was doing something bad to Jesus, but I wasn't, because I still loved him, and he's still a great prophet and I still have that love for him but he made me feel like I was abandoning him or something and he asked me really tough questions and that was tough but he's accepted it now and I know he's still sad but he's actually reading the Quran and learning more about Islam and seeing how many lies are told out there and my mom on the other hand she was more afraid I guess you could say she has that sort of stereotype you know she thought I was going to go and get kidnapped and not be allowed back and these crazy things. But once I um, explained to her that none of that's true and showed her a lot of things, she supports me a lot now and it's amazing. It's great. And inshallah that'll continue. So that's a very short, condensed version of why I converted. And maybe I'll make another longer, more detailed story later. I'm pretty tired. I just finished midterms. So the next thing I wanted that I wanted to talk about was those of you who are born into Islam. Like I, I know we are all born Muslims, but those of you who are raised Muslim, I see a lot of people who are raised Muslim, and they believe in God, and they have this amazing blessing to be raised that way. Because I'm telling you, it is extremely hard to live with a family who doesn't share your values. It's very, very tough. It makes you feel alone sometimes. And you have this amazing gift that your family gave to you that God blessed you with. And a lot of you, and I see a lot of Muslims taking it, taking advantage of it. Like they believe in him and they love him and I see their love, but then they go out there and do all these things that are completely against the teachings of Islam. and. I just wonder how someone can turn away from such an amazing blessing. And I'm just asking you to really... I know it's easy to take it for granted when you have always had it. Because lots of things are like that, like having food and shelter and all these things that we have. We take them for granted because we always have it. And once it's gone, like in the month of Ramadan, once the food was gone, I was so excited on the day on Eid when I was like, wow, I can go out for lunch today at school. And it made me so excited and I was so thankful for that food and it was amazing. And you really realize things you take for granted. And I'm getting away from the point. <laughs> and I just wanted to say that you have such a blessing so please don't take it for granted. Research into your faith and what you've been given and know that you are truly blessed. And.